Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's talk about problem 36 in chapter 2. In this one, let's define some keyword. You tell us an inattentive driver is traveling a V1 18 meter per second. When he notices there is a red line ahead, so then his car is capable of deacceleration at the acceleration 3.65 meter per second. And if it take him 0 0.2 seconds to get the brake on and he is 20 meters from the in intersection when he sees the light, will he be able to stop in that time? So in these problems, I suggest you draw a picture to think out what happens. First, there is a driver, right? And there is a red light. And at this time, this red light is on, the driver is there. And the displacement should be x equal to x is 20 meter, there, 20 meter. And at this point, the velocity v1, this driver keeps this velocity v1 and the time t1 because this is reaction time and moves the displacement x1 from there. The car slows down, slows down, and stop. See? Uh, if we draw a VT graph, it should be this part, right? At the beginning, at the T1, it is constant velocity, then slow down, slow down. And we want to make sure uh, at this point, whether this V2 will be zero or not. And then we want to make sure it is zero, right? So we do calculation first. So we see the calculation there. We can list all the loan quantities at there. There we need to put, pay attention to the acceleration. We must keep this negative sign because it's a slow down, slow down, and stop. So acceleration at a negative direction. So in this one, we can see we know we need to find the V2. And we know V1 because at this point it's still V1 and we know acceleration. And it looks like we can find the X2, right? So we can find V2. So it looks like the first step we need to find X2. And X equal to X2 1 plus X2 is a constant. So we can find S1 first and then x2, and then v2, see? So first step is find x1. x1, the car moves at a constant velocity, so it is v1 times t1, agree? Yes, then we can find the x2 by using the total x minus x1. We get the displacement at this uh, deceleration region. And then we know the x2, we know v1, and we know acceleration. Very easily, we use this equation, we can find v2. And we find v2 is 14 meter per second, so the car couldn't stop. So that tells us if we drive a car, we must be very careful. Because if we are careful, we have more time to slow down, slow down, slow down, and stop. Thank you.